Welcome back to the channel, my name is Abom and we are back with another European Championship group match and it is a Group E tie in the Aviva Stadium in Dublin between the Republic of Ireland and Serbia. Earlier today, Spain and France fought out a goalless draw in Bilbao, so a win for either side here. We'll see them, for the moment at least, top Group E. Ireland making the tournament via the playoffs, beating Iceland and Northern Ireland and Serbia qualifying as runners-up of Group B behind Portugal. Uh, but let's see how the teams line up then. Uh, the boys in the green with a 4-4-2. Darren Randolph in goal. Uh, back four of Cunningham, John Egan, Shane Duffy and Matt Doherty. Uh, Robbie Brady and Seamus Coleman, the captain of the sides, are Elo's wide players with Horahan and Jeff Hendrick in central midfield. And a strike partnership of Shane Long and I think the youngest player in the tournament, 18-year-old Troy Parrott. Meanwhile, Serbia line up with a 4-2-1-3 formation. Dimitrovic, the goalkeeper, and a back four of Captain Kolarov, uh, Nastasic, Milinkovic, and Branislav Ivanovic. Quite an old back line, so that might be a problem for them. Uh, two defensive midfielders ahead of them with Nemanja Matic and Luka Milivojevic of Man United and Crystal Palace, respectively. Uh, they're behind Lazio's Sergio Milinkovic Savic. Could be one to watch this tournament and you know could play a big part in how Serbia do. Uh, the front three sees Dusan Tadic on the left hand side, Katai on the right and another youngster to watch, uh, Luka Jovic, the striker uh, at Real Madrid. Could be an entertaining game this. Um, Serbia with, I'd say, a mix of youth and experience. And the same with Ireland as well. Troy Parrott, I'm pretty sure he's the youngest player in the tournament. So, going to see how this one goes. Ireland, the third and final home nation to take part in this tournament after England and Wales. And they have the ball here. Well, Robbie Brady did have the ball, but he was uh, dispossessed by Ivanovic. Now, here's Katai for Serbia. Finds Dusan Tadic. And he has got Kolarov up in support. And now Kolarov from Roma into the middle for Milinkovic Savic, Serie A, um, fellow Serie A player. Uh, Jovic doesn't get to that. It's Egan and it's cleared by Ireland. Only as far as Milinkovic. Here is Milinkovic Savic to Tadic. And Jovic. That's a good ball for Kolarov. Kolarov across the face of goal, but no one gets there. Branislav Ivanovic into the middle for Matic. Here's Milinkovic Savic. Switches to Tadic. And it's taking it past one man. Goes for goal. Randolph gets down the save. Nemanja Matic. Finds Tadic. Matic gets it back. That's a ball for Jovic. Got a bit of work to do though. But a Tadic is there. Tadic. Oh, Randolph again gets down to save. Ireland with a free kick here. Duffy goes long to Shane Long. And Shane Long oh, just clipped the post. Tadic free kick. Header and a goal for Serbia and it's Nastasic the defender who gets the goal 13 and a half minutes in. The Serbs lead 1-0 in Dublin. Tadic with a free kick. Nastasic far post header. Um, pretty easy for him and it's Serbia that lead 1-0. Milivojevic. Matic. To Nastasic. Long ball. Doesn't find anyone though. Doherty goes long. Shane Long's there. Can Shane Long make it 1-1? No he can't. It's a good save and it's cleared by Milinkovic. Tadic, Milinkovic Savic to Matic, Dusan Tadic, Serbia controlling the game so far, they've been the better team, here's Dusan Tadic, into the middle, or given away though, Hendrik picks it up, Seamus Coleman to Hurahan, Hendrik goes long, and it's Troy Parrott, got a bit of work to do, goes for goal, good save Dimitrovic, Parrott was offside though, free kick for Serbia here, Tadic, it's kept in by the island defender, Milenkovic. Milenkovic Savic to Milivojevic. Jovic, Katai. Oh, it was I think it was a it was a deflection. It's a corner for Serbia. Half an hour gone. Throw in for Serbia. Is Milenkovic Savic. Loses out to Brady. Brady quick to react. And uh, Robbie Brady making the run down the left flank. He's got a couple of players in there to choose from. Find Shane Long, who can't quite get the header on target, but good run by Brady. Free kick here for Serbia, about 35 yards out, and it's a header on goal, but Randolph holds it. Oh, there's a, a possible penalty review here. It is a penalty for Serbia. Shane Long adjusts to a foul in the area, so it is a Serbia penalty. It's Milivojevic, and it is a goal. It's 2-0 Serbia from the penalty. VAR uh, plays in the Serbs' hands, and Ireland 2-0 down in Dublin. Disappointing for them. Shane Long with a foul. Milivojevic converts the penalty. Serbia lead 2-0. Hurahan with a free kick. About three and a half minutes to go with this first half. Shot is saved by Dimitrovic. 
Ireland had a couple of chances in the first half, which they didn't take. And they are 2-0 down. Of course, giving away the penalty. VAR going against them. But here's Robbie Brady. And a diving header by Milenkovic. That was real commitment to the ball, that was. But he's lost out here. It's Troy Parrott. And it's Shane Long. And from point blank, Dimitrovic still saves it. Shane Long heads it on to Parrott. Troy Parrott. It's a low shot. It's a save. It's a corner. Parrott, the youngest player in this tournament, almost scores. Ireland with a corner with Hurahan. Not a great one. It's only as cleared as far as Brady, though. Here is Hurahan. Shots blocked. Duffy. Hendrick. Shane Duffy to Hurahan. Serbia with a lot of players behind the ball here. And here's Seamus Coleman. Hendrick to Matt Doherty. Can Doherty put a ball in there? No, it's just a bit too heavy a touch. And he's given it away. Now it's Serbia with the ball. Dusan Tadic. Here's Luka Jovic. He's all alone here, but he's got three players to beat. He finds Katai coming in. Katai with a shot. Randolph with a save. Hurahan to Brady. To Shane Long, who's not had a good day, Shane Long. Gives away the penalty, of course. Has a go for goal, but Milinkovic gets onto it. Coleman with a shot, but it's off target. 68 minutes gone. Ireland still 2-0 down, need some goals, need some chances to come their way. And they need to finish them, but Jovic takes it off him. It's 3-0 Serbia. What a dismal display. And McCarthy looks like an idiot. Jovic makes it three. Seamus Coleman to James McCarthy. Shane Duffy, too long on the ball. It was Duffy and Luka Jovic past the goalkeeper. And it's 3-0 Serbia. Ireland having a horrible day. Well, the Republic of Ireland have not had a good day at all. Can they get back into this game with less than 10 minutes of normal time to go? It's Brown and it's a ball for Seamus Coleman. Can they get back into this game? It's Shane Long and it's over. McCarthy goes long. Shane Long. Not been a good day for him. Can he set something up here for Parrot? maybe? It's Bamford who's on for Parrot. Brady. Brady. Brady scores. 86th minute of the game. Ireland finally get the goal. And that's the first of maybe many. Or is it just one? Shane Long puts the ball in there. Bamford is on for Troy Parrott. It falls to Robbie Brady with the left foot. Keepers off his line. And it's 3-1. Ireland get a goal back. Finds Robbie Brady. Here's Patrick Bamford. Half volley's blocked. Here's Cunningham. Brady. Ireland finally showing some life at the end of this game here. And it's in. It's Shane Long. It's 3-2. There's no way he is there. Ireland make it 3-2. Robbie Brady with the cross. And it is now Ireland 2, Serbia 3. Shane Long with a finish. Milinkovic Savic. Serbia walking a fine line now. They've almost thrown this away. And they've got a minute to go to hold on to this lead now. Ireland have almost pulled it back. That's a long ball. But it's headed by Nastasic. It's Seamus Coleman. Is there still another goal to come in this game? Coleman still got it. Shane Long. Oh, it's given away. That could have been the chance there. It's Ivanovic. And it's a clearance. Cunningham heads forward, but just gives it away again. Lialic. And it's Jovic. And Jovic one-on-one. -on -one. And it's a good save by Randolph. Doffy clears. Drama late in the game here. We're into the fourth minute. At three minutes of stoppage time. It's Seamus Coleman. The cross is blocked. It's Matt Doherty. Lialic. It's cleared. Jovic. Full time. No, free kick. Jovic was offside. Wow. Ireland almost brought that back. Uh, they had a pretty dreadful game. And then the last five minutes, they suddenly seemed to turn into a fantastic side. Robbie Brady uh, pulls one goal back with four minutes to go. And then Shane Long, in the first minute of stoppage time, makes it 3-2. But they couldn't get that third goal. And Nastasic scoring from the set piece for Serbia fairly early on, 15th minute. And then VAR awarding Serbia a penalty. Shane Long a judge to a foul. Uh, Milivojevic converted that. And then Shane Duffy caught out in possession. And Luka Jovic uh, capitalises to make it three for Serbia. But Ireland almost brought it back. Very, very close. Serbia had the possession. Um, they had three big chances as well. They could have had more goals than that three. Ireland had chances themselves, which they didn't take until the last few minutes when they finally got some goals. But just two goals to Serbia's three. Could not quite complete the comeback, but very close. Uh, six cards in total. Two for Ireland with Cunningham and Brown getting booked. Uh, and uh, Serbia with four bookings. Ivanovic, Nastasic, Kolarov and Matic all picking up cards. 
So Serbia top Group E after their win over Ireland, France and Spain, uh, their 0-0 draw sees them on a point each. So Serbia with an early advantage in the group, but they do take on Spain in Bilbao in the next round of games. That will be uh, on Saturday the 20th. Uh, just one group left that we haven't seen yet, and that is Group F, which we'll be looking at uh, tomorrow. Uh, just two matches taking place tomorrow, and they're both games in Group F. Turkey play Norway in Budapest in Hungary. Uh, meanwhile, Germany host Switzerland. And uh, uh, as I mentioned, it's Germany made up of fake players because I'm an idiot. So uh, we haven't got real German players. We've got a fake team, but it's going to be interesting to see how they do. Um, as I mentioned in my uh, group previews, um, it's not real players because I'm an idiot. But that is five out of six. Having played match day one, just group F to go. And that will be tomorrow. But for now, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like down below. Leave comments. And if you haven't done so already, or if you're new, do consider subscribing and turning on notifications. And that is going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching. I will see you soon. Goodbye.